Okay, so can you graph x equals 3 and y equals negative 5? So we have two equations for lines here, and uh, again, can you graph these lines? This is real basic algebra stuff. Now, if you're going to kind of play along uh, and not, you know, look at your notes or look at something else, pause the video and see if you can actually graph these lines, and that would be a good little experiment here. But I can kind of assure you that like 80% of you out there um, are going to make this easy mistake, okay? So this is something that, uh, for whatever reason, in mathematics, I'm sure I made this mistake way back in the good old days when I was first taking algebra. Uh, but oftentimes when things are very easy, they're also easy uh, to make an error with. And this is a, a classic example. So if you get this wrong, uh, you know, that's, I'm glad that you'll get it wrong, at least with uh, watching this video, so you can keep in mind that you know you don't want to make this mistake going forward because this is such an easy thing uh, to get right. But again, it's you know what seems to be easy is also easy to make an error with. So we're going to take a look at this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed. What I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. I have about 100 plus math courses right now uh, in my program. And by the way, you can find uh, a link to my math program in the description of this video. But I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. Uh, but I also have many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're preparing for, uh, like, let's say the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, maybe the ASVAB, CLEP exam, AccuPlacer, Alex, maybe a teacher, uh, teacher certification exam like the Praxis or nursing entrance like the TEAS, there's so many exams out there that have a considerable amount of math on it. So if you don't get to the math section on these exams, you don't get through the exams, and that has a serious negative consequences. So you can go to my site. Uh, check out my full course catalog. Hopefully I have what you're looking for. If I don't, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also work a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then I just help those of you as well that are struggling in your math class can definitely help you out. Now, one thing I can't do for you that you must do for yourself is the following. Okay, you got to take great math notes. So over the years, decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me, those students who really put the uh, effort in and take fantastic math notes almost always do very, very well, very, very well in terms of their grades. And then the reverse is true. Those students who like to talk in class, look at their cell phone, uh, do their homework for other classes, um, you know, don't do well uh, in terms of their math grades. And then they end up looking like this. And they're like, why did that happen to me? Well, if you didn't take notes, how can you possibly, you know, uh, know what to study from? Okay. So, for example, if you have a test next week, what are you going to study from if you're not taking notes, right? Now, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but the the honest truth is probably 50% uh, or more of students in a math class do not take, you know, uh, notes, barely take any kind of notes. So the easiest way to improve in mathematics is really start improving on your note taking. And uh, most of you could stand improvement. There's always room for improvement. So start taking better notes. That's going to help you out. And you, ultimately, you'll end up looking like this at the end of the school year. But in the meantime, uh, you still need something to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include Pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so now without looking at your notes or looking at anything else, let's take an, uh, an honest assessment of your uh, graphing skills. So can you graph these two lines? So this is one line, x is equal to 3, and this is another line, y is equal to negative 5. Okay, so if you don't want to see the answer here, go ahead and pause the video, but... Let's kind of uh, quickly talk about uh, this topic. So we're talking about graphing, graphing linear equations, okay? Let's just kind of uh, abbreviate it that way. So most of you are, are probably thinking, oh, y equals mx plus b. You're thinking about lines like y equals 1 half x plus 5, or maybe a line like uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. And uh, this is correct. These lines here uh, are in the form. Well, this form, uh, the the form of this line here is in uh, y equals mx plus b. This is in standard form. But basically, you need to know how to graph these lines. Now, 
these lines uh, here also have a slope to them. So they're going to be some sort of angled line like so. But when you first start learning to graph lines, we need to learn how to graph horizontal lines and vertical lines. So they're like the easiest lines to deal with. So we got vertical lines and horizontal lines. And then we get into these guys right here that have two variables, both y and x going on, and they have some sort of slope. So just kind of a quick review about graphing a linear equations. Now, again, uh, if you, you know, you kind of need to follow through after this video, make sure you understand how to graph all linear equations and a couple of recommendations. I have a ton of videos on my channel in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist and also uh, my courses like pre-algebra or algebra one. I teach this thoroughly. Okay, so let's get back to this problem here. X equals three and Y equals negative five. So I'll give you a little bit of a hint. Okay, one of these lines is going to be horizontal and the other is going to be vertical. Okay, but which is which? Let's see if you can get this right. All right. So um, now when I do the first prom, it's going to be obvious uh, what the second prom is going to look like. So let's take a look at x equals 3. Now, uh, let's see here. How many of you went 1, 2, 3, and then did this and said this is x equals 3? Okay. Oops, that's a terrible 3. I could write that better. So how many of you did this uh, uh, response? Okay. Well, I bet you about 80% of you very well uh, uh, graph this line, x equals 3, like, like so, okay? Why do I say that? <laughs> well, when you have graded uh, thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of quizzes, homework, and tests over decades of teaching math, you just see them same mistakes over and over again. Okay, this is incorrect, right? x equals 3 is not that line. What we do is we go to 1, 2, 3 on the x axis, and this is a vertical line, okay, right here. This is a line x equals 3. Okay, now if you did this correctly, I certainly must give you a little happy face, and uh, we'll give you a one star for that because this is an easy problem, but it's also easy to make a mistake, right? Uh, many students would graph it this way, and I think probably because they're thinking, oh, x axis is horizontal, so maybe it goes like so. The way you need to kind of remember it is the following. Anywhere along this line, the x coordinate will be 3. So, for example, this point here could be like 3, 5. This point down here could be like 3, 2. This point down here would be like, say, 3, negative 4. But the x coordinate is always 3. So, hopefully, that will. Um, help you. Now, again, uh, these are easy lines. This is a vertical line. So x equals a number is always going to be some sort of vertical line through that number. So y equals negative 5, all right? Hopefully, uh, if this is vertical, uh, most of you out there are like, oh, okay, this must be the horizontal line. And that is correct. So we go down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5 on the y-axis, and then we draw a little line like so, and that will be y equals negative 5, and this goes through obviously negative 5 on the y-axis. So if you got both of these lines right, uh, let me give you two stars, okay? Um, this is the very foundation of graphing linear equations. Now, this is so easy when students, uh, you know, you know, uh, learn this, right? You're like, oh, okay, x equals this number, boom, y is equal to this number. Guess what happens? A lot of students won't put this in their notes, and then they'll just, like, forget. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, if it's one or the other, and then they confuse this. And for whatever reason, uh, like 80% of students initially get this wrong. But over time, uh, you know, after suffering a lot of, you know, uh, points taken off their quizzes and tests, they'll, you know, they'll finally figure out, okay, which is which. So if you made this mistake with me, I'm glad that you did because I want you to uh, understand this error before you have to take a math quiz or test. Okay, that's the whole idea here is to, um, you know, make these mistakes in advance. If you're confused about something, you know, you got to study, get unconfused before you actually take an exam. That's why I kind of do these little catchy titles, you know, like 80% of math students make this easy mistake because I try to identify or teach you common uh, errors in mathematics because 
if, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people are making a particular type of mistake, chances are that you, okay, and I'm sure I made this mistake way back in the good old days when I took Algebra 1, I think that was maybe 1982, okay? <laughs> so that kind of gives you a clue uh, uh, how old I am. I can barely remember. I kind of remember. I don't even remember my who was my math teachers, but I kind of got a visual of them. But that's a long time ago. But anyways, I'm sure I was making all these mistakes way back then. All right. Some of these things are timeless. Okay. So if you made this mistake, um, obviously put this into your notes. Okay. And, you know, the only way uh, to get better at math is practice this stuff. So by watching this video and having me explain this to you, you will if you don't put this into your notes and practice this, in a couple of weeks, you'll forget it and you'll end up making this mistake again. So, you know, don't confuse watching math as the same as learning math. You've got to do a lot of follow through and additional practice. So um, hopefully this video uh, helped you out in some way. And if it did, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing been on YouTube for a long time, 10 plus years. Uh, I have 1,000 thousand plus videos at this point on my channel uh, organized from basic to advanced mathematics. So a lot of stuff there for you to go through, but my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.